hello friends welcome to another video session today I'm going to uh, show you one of the uh, test tool that is browser stack you might heard already about this tool if you don't know then I will uh, take you briefly overview uh, my intention is to show you this tool at a high level in first video session I will uh, try to show you the uh, how we can use for the manual testing this tool and in next level I will show you how we can use for the automation so let's uh, look around this tool uh, this is a live web based browsing testing tool so the intention is like if you uh, don't have devices in your office uh, for the testing purpose and uh, you don't have this facility to uh, create something so that time you can uh, go for this tool and this is a really wonderful tool and uh, it is quite famous nowadays because of the browser coverage and this tool provide you a lot of browser coverage and these all most all devices are located in the cloud these are all real devices and it will bring uh, the more uh, accurate test results and it cover around uh, 1100 uh, desktop browsers that means uh, coverage is huge and big and it also uh, help us to integrate in a different environment so that will uh, uh, improve the uh, development speed uh, and also bug reporting speed and uh, these uh, all tools uh, help us to bring a native experience in overall and also it is secured so if you're doing some testing with some confidential information it will be not disclosed easily so uh, and this uh, such all uh, tools uh, uh, such all features this pro tools will provide so what you have to do uh, uh, you have to go and sign up for the tool uh, for example I already have account so if you go for a sign up you get for the uh, around uh, the free trail that cover the certain amount of time and later words if you want to uh, go so you have to go for a pricing and according to price plan you can upgrade uh, I, what I have I have now with the free account so I will show you briefly what I have I will log in with my account and take you to the panel where you can see the more options when you once you log in uh, it asks for uh, the options like how you want to set up the local one so uh, you have to select for the local one I already did so it is not showing now second time uh, what I do now I will uh, navigate you to quickly so if you look here it it should it say like a 28 minutes left for my free tail so so I can use till uh, 28 minutes uh, in the uh, quick view I can show you what we have uh, in a quick launch we can select the different browser if you want to uh, test something on Android so there are devices list over here there are wide uh, number of devices but once you upgrade your plan you get uh, more devices if you want to test something on iOS that is iOS is also available Windows phone and also Windows operating system and the Mac operating system uh, so what I do uh, I simply uh, use one of the Android uh, for example I am using the Galaxy tab and on Galaxy tab I am using the Chrome uh, so I click over it then it asks for the screen size so I can uh, select also wide range of screen size uh, I will select the 15.4 and I click on a set a size and it will bring this uh, devices uh, for me on on the real life in the browser and uh, now this is a tab of the galaxy 4.10.1 so here it is uh, once we land here 
it will take us to the uh, navigation so what I do I will click on the URL and I type some website so it uh, it directly navigate to this website uh, for example uh, I am testing some Google is simple place there is no much element so for example I'm testing some complicated website I mean like a well-developed or a half a developed website for example uh, let's go for the india.com simplest one so uh, on real device uh, this emulation show you how this website look like so this is really uh, wonderful so uh, for example as if you are a tester and you want to uh, use this device you can scroll it you can also navigate to the other pages uh, for example if you want to if you notice some bugs on some part of the application so if you want to take a screenshot you just click on the this option screenshot it captured the screen and if you have some issues over here notice so you can report easily uh, you can also use drag and drop uh, pen to the uh, highlight something so there are you can also want to type something you can type so there are such options available and it's up to you how you can use this tool for them so you can also save and also download later words and also if you want to use in a developer mode you can click on a dev tool so it, it device itself open in a debugger mode it's really wonderful so you can uh, dig more and also uh, if you uh, play around settings there are much more settings what you like to use uh, and also if you want to know about which device exactly more information you always click over here so you get this device information and if you click on features it will show you more features uh, once you're done uh, you can stop clicking stop or you can also make a full screen and you can also rotate there are other options also so rotate means device itself rotate to landscape to portrait mode and also zoom in so and also after that you can st stop over it uh, once you done uh, this uh, uh, this device goes off and this is how easy it is useful uh, so you see here it is uh, it, it took now early you say 28 now it's 25 minutes left if you want to use uh, more so you have to upgrade your plan uh, that that help you to uh, uh, use this uh, tool fully functional way I hope you like my video and the next video I come with you uh, how we can use browser stack for the automation purpose with the selenium Okay friends, if you like, uh, do not forget to share this uh, video with your friend and, uh, and if you have some more information, so please share and comment.